So what happens in these lakes that have ciscos, tulabies, other people call them lake herring, they're cold water fish, and they spend most of the time in deep water. But what's gonna happen, you can already see it right now on the depth finder. See these little blue dots? These are little microinvertebrates that make these diurnal movements. They're gonna come up towards the surface tonight to feed. And of course, the tulabies eat them, so they're gonna follow them up. Now the walleyes are gonna spend most of their time in 40 feet or less. Walleyes will rarely go down in this really cold water. But when these ciscos come up, the walleyes will start to feed as well. So this window of opportunity generally will happen like an hour before sunset to maybe a couple hours after dark. So the idea is get out here a little early, see where a lot of the food is. And you can see right now the food's in a hundred and some feet. But as the night progresses, you're gonna see everything start to ratchet up in the water column and by sunset, everything's gonna be happening right up here. And that's why we're fishing baits that are running 10 feet or less over 100 plus feet of water. You know, what's really sort of interesting about this whole thing, and, and you'd actually ask, well, where are the big walleyes during the daylight hours? Why can't you catch them uh, during midday? And you probably can in some conditions, if you had clouds and overcast, a little bit of wind, dark, you know, sort of cloudy conditions, you might be able to catch them. But the biggest thing is, is what Jer was talking about is this food movement and these uh, walleyes and many of the other largest top of the line predators that swim in this system, which in this particular lakes happens to be big pike, muskies and smallmouth bass are suspended out over this deep water waiting for the tulabies to move up in the water column. When they get to the right level, that's when they're gonna feed. Speed is a huge factor in catching fish when, when you're trolling and I've got a few different ways that I can modify my speed in this boat. So this is a 90 horsepower Mercury right now and I've got the SmartCraft system where I can adjust the RPMs to be able to go a certain speed but we've got a tailwind behind us right now and so even at the lowest RPM setting I still am going faster than I want to go but I've also got another tool I've got them in code Vantage here in the back and so what I do is I deploy the Vantage and I'll adjust the speed in reverse to be able to, I can just really, really fine tune how fast this boat is traveling. So if we've got a really strong tailwind, I can just dial up the speed on the Vantage and I can slow us way down, or I can just essentially stop it. So it's a really useful tool, not only for crankbait fishing in open water with boards like we're doing right now, but it's also a really big tool for spinner fishing. I've caught a lot of walleyes with that precise speed adjustment having two tillers back here to adjust it to just tenths of a mile an hour. The witching hour is here. It's prime time to catch fish. You can see there's like eight or 10 loons in the background. They're feeding. We're starting to see ciscos popping all over on the surface. Bait is starting, or the little bugs are starting to come up at the bottom. This is when you absolutely want to be on your game. There's one, fish on, fish on. Whoa, 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 Hang on, hang on, hang on. Back her down, Jar. back her down a little bit. Big one, big one. Wow, you know what it is? It's a great big pike. It looked like a great big pike, I was wondering, because it's just smoking. Do you want me to, you yeah, no, big, I'm gonna kill it? Yo, yeah, you gotta slow me down, I mean, yeah, because I, it's, only, it's only going in one direction, it's away from the boat. It's too big, we gotta reel everything in. Break the spread, that's a good thing when you're trolling and you actually have to break the spread because the fish is too big. The one thing whenever you're fishing like this with boards, and these are really pretty specialized rods because what you're doing, we're fishing with braided line. This is 832 braid. We have that uh, monofilament, 30 feet of monofilament. But the thing is, is what you have to do is be really pretty delicate. You don't do a lot of pumping when you're fighting the fish. And what you're doing is generally is just reeling it in and you have a, actually a softer parabolic action with these rods. And you just try to keep them tight, keep them tight. So as we get closer, Jeremy's gonna sort of uncork our board. Yep. Wow. All right, everybody's out. Now you can just have fun with your fish. No. <laughs> wow, yeah. look at that. Wow. Oh, it's a muskie. That's cool. what it is. is right? I was wondering what the fish is. It's a really nice muskie. muskie. Sweet. The muskie man. <laughs> Take that over just about any fish that swims. And Jeremy will give you a net. Okay. The yeah. interesting thing is when That's you get nice out and fish. do this, there's a lot of different big fish uh, actually uh, feed on these open water bait fish. Heck yeah. And cool. the thing is, is almost all of them are the biggest of each different species, whether it be pike, walleyes, muskies, 
Should I net them or should I grab them? No, uh, Jerry. I'll just grab him by the tail. Okay. So I think if we put him in the net, he's gonna flop out, Boy, break got the bait. Him perfectly hooked. I mean, yeah, really he did. lucky. Yeah, he done any he better. Usually, that the, the, you know, you get in a big muskie and they actually just eat, literally eat the bait. There you go. We got lots and lots of hooks. You want Jeez. me to get him? I knew he had to do this one of those. This is sort of an interesting affair we got going here. The thing is, he's afraid he's going to put him in the net, and it's actually too small of a net. Uh, yeah, I would totally net this fish if we had a bigger net. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's hooked so good if I can just get a. Okay, this is this time I think we got him this That's time. That's a beautiful okay, he's fish. He's coming around. Here he goes. Yeah, you need to chill out. One. Oh, yeah. sweet, he's almost out. Almost unhooked. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, easy, easy, Jeff. Easy, watch your hands. There's your fish. We got that no, clippers. No, just clip, yet, you would get, just clip the hooks, Ty, if you yeah, can. Watch yourself. Yeah, get that out of there. That's very, the... very, very dangerous. God, look, cool. at look at that. It's a beautiful fish. I mean, it's a gorgeous fish. You can see how wide, wide it is. These guys come, come out here, and there's a lot of food out here. Beautiful cool. fish. We better get her back in the water. Yeah, absolutely. Really, I was wondering when it started leaping out of the water. It yeah. said, it's a big pike. It's a... Good team of that. <laughs> Back to the depths. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, he's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. All right. Somebody want to take this rod or do you want me to take it? What? I hate to be hogging all the rods. Jerry will take it away. Okay. Okay. That was cool, though. We saw all the. Actually, this might be a long way. We saw all the fit. I mean, there's so much bait happening there. We just kind of musky here. And you gotta pay attention to the environmental conditions. We're seeing bait on the depth finder everywhere, but visually we can see there's a lot of stuff coming up high here, and that's when it happened. I'll let you sneak back here, Ty. It's nice with this system. We're fishing, you know, these are St. Croix trolling rods, icons, specifically designed for this type of fishing. You notice the flex in this Oops. rod, it can take a lot of shot. There's a fish on there. Yep. <laughs> How do you I'm like serious. that? Wow. <laughs> wow. I got a walleye here. Do you? Yeah. No, we're all right. I'm, I'm up. Wow, this is interesting. Get another big How do you like this affair? Poor Ty. What? Oh, I, think it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this. I got a, just, it's not, it's a nice walleye. It's not yeah. a, oh yeah, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Wow. Oh. Like I was saying, these long rod, these they just absorb the shock. You got these treble hooks, and it's a huge deal for um, for fighting fish like this. Oh, he popped off, and now he's snag. Wow! Wow! Holy cow! Did you see that? Yeah. Hopefully, he stays hooked. Yeah. Okay, we got a second net. Yep. Here's yours. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was sort of that was sort of fun, you know. It was sort of weird because I was just kicking the boat in and out of gear, and we left the, the other line out. That's why you leave the other line out, right? And all of a sudden, it jumped, and I said, "Wow, there's a, there's another another Wally here." I'm gonna just set this one in the live well so we can get a picture of both of them together. There you go. Come here, boy. Look at it. Look. There you go. Thank you, sir. Fat. Oh, Jeez, man, that's a they're... tank. That was a huge one. Holy man. Really? Okay, this we're is really happening here. Now, yep. Oh, one there, nice he's thing out. is, he's out. I, I filled the live well before we started doing this with water just because it's a it's a big mess when you get fish in the box and sometimes they're stressed out and you got other lines. So okay. having a real safe place where it's wet to keep the fish is a big deal. I'll get okay. out of your way here, yeah, buddy. Look at the size of this one. But the thing is, you'll notice these fish. Look how beautiful they are. Things are really tanks. Look at the back on that thing. But they're all they're all the big, you know, mature adult fish. And the interesting thing is, is that the, the biggest of all the different species come out and feed on this open water bait fish like this. Gorgeous. We'll get her back in the water. You gonna take a couple of stills? Sure. You want me to let this one go or into the live well? You can just let it go, Jim. Okay. We'll let this guy go. Come here, buddy. Yesterday, Ty had like a, a real whopper. He had one that would make this guy here look like a runt. Come here, buddy. That's why I'm the net guy today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's playing second fiddle. This is actually sort of an interesting scene because it's just like a catastrophic mess here. Let we me have, show you the other one here, too. Was, uh, and I'm not kidding when I say this, but this is actually, this is just an awesome fish. Look at that, how beautiful that fish is. But this is not a big fish for open water, believe it or not. If you were out rigging or jigging and he caught this thing, you'd be like, yeah. 
-hmm. when you're open water hunting hogs. Yeah. This is just an, another nice one. Cool, I'm gonna get this one back too. Good. 